Zero downtime upgrades don't have to be a nightmare anymore. And I'm going to show you how I did it uh, using two really cool technologies, Docker and BMC Release Lifecycle Management. In this example, I've got a JPET store application. We can see over here that we're running version 1.0. That's running on top of JBoss Wildfly version 9. Uh, we can see that it's backed up over here by a MySQL database right there, JPET store. And now I'm going to go into BMC Release Lifecycle Management. I've got a request template that's set up, and this is going to orchestrate the update of my application. Now the steps that it's going to run is it's going to pull new Docker image. That's going to pull down from either your Docker, Docker Trusted uh, Registry or directly from Docker Hub. It's going to start up the new Docker instance. At that point in time, you're going to actually be running two instances, the old one and the new one. Um, and then we're going to repoint the DNS. And the DNS is going to be pointed at the new instance so that there's zero downtime. It's, it's not pointing to the new instance until uh, the new instance is up and running. And if that's successful, we're going to stop the previous instance, which sets us up in the future for deploying the next version. So in this case, we're going to deploy version 2, and I'm going to kick off this request. Now the pulled new Docker image could take a couple minutes in your environment depending on whether or not you're, you're close to where that registry is. Um, but you'll see that the actual operations of starting the container, pointing the DNS, stopping the previous container, they run in a matter of seconds. So if you're used to deployments that take around 30 minutes to an hour, get ready. This is a lot faster. And like that, I update my app and we can see version 2.0.